A common cause of shark attacks on surfers is mistaken identification. A surfer's silhouette seen from below may mimic that of a seal or sea lion, which are frequent targets of great white sharks. Comparing a seal and a surfer side by side from below the surface, these bites are often not meant to be lethal. Rather, the shark is attempting to figure out what the surfer is. To a shark, the outline of a surfer can look strikingly similar to their natural prey, leading to an exploratory bite. Surfers splashing in the ocean as they paddle and catch waves. Sharks may respond predatorily to surfers splashing and paddling, which can resemble the actions of wounded or struggling prey. They may get interested in the motion and vibrations in the water. Shark responding to water splashing. Environmental factors. Surfing photos taken in the early morning and late at night. Dawn and twilight, when most people go surfing, are also when many shark species are most active. Because there is less visibility during these periods, there is a higher probability of mistaken identity. Murky water can make it harder for sharks to visually identify their prey, increasing the likelihood of an accidental bite. Sharks are attracted to contrasts. Therefore, gear with a high contrast or bright hue might catch their attention. Surfers in a group wearing dull-colored wetsuits can also interest sharks. Surfers may take a few safety measures to lessen their chance of being attacked by sharks. Steer clear of the water around dawn and sunset, stick together, and wear gear and wetsuits with muted colors. While shark attacks on surfers are rare, knowing why they happen may help humans coexist securely with these amazing ocean predators. Being aware of local shark activity and avoiding locations with high shark presence can also be helpful.